There will be plenty of moments when the ball does get played out wide and your job is to drive into that half space to be that option for your fullback. In today's video, we are going over the responsibilities of a center defensive midfielder. Here is a graphic of where that position usually is in a formation. What are the responsibilities? Here is a list, the positioning and awareness, technical and passing ability, dictating tempo, and their defensive organization. So now let's look at center defensive mids in possession. First thing we're gonna look at is their positioning. In their positioning, one key thing to remember is to always be at the top of a triangle when you are checking in to receive the ball from your center backs. The reason being is because you are that outlet pass to get the ball from one side to the other. As you can see in these two clips, both times the center defensive mid is at that top of the triangle. You're not always going to receive the ball, but it's crucial to be in that space. Whenever you are receiving from a center back on one side and the fullback pushes up into space, you can also occupy that space that was left from your fullback. This is gonna allow for maybe the center back to penetrate the ball through the middle and find another player through the middle. Whenever you are receiving from a fullback or a winger, you always wanna be that supporting player. You always wanna be slightly at an angle. Anytime that you are receiving the ball from one side to the other, try to position yourself in the half spaces like this clip right here. There will be plenty of moments when the ball does get played out wide and your job is to drive into that half space to be that option for your fullback or any wide player. You wanna be that option so that you can turn and potentially play forward or switch the field. You always wanna find yourself in those central zones to be an option inside and connect either the left side to the right side or connect the defensive line to the attacking line. When it comes to your technical and passing ability, here are the key things that you should look for. Whenever you're receiving from one side to the other, knowing exactly how to turn receiving with that back foot either horizontally or vertically whenever you have space behind you make sure that you can identify that and take your space by dribbling whenever you are receiving from a congested side like in this clip look to find that outlet pass in this case it's the furthest man in space whenever you can can you break lines can we play between two players to then potentially move forward. There's also gonna be moments when you have to switch play. Can you switch play into space, to their feet, whatever the case may be for that particular scenario, make sure you're accurate with your passes every chance that you can get. Dictating the tempo basically means when you have to speed up the game, you speed up the game. When you have to slow it down, you slow it down. In this clip, you see the center midfielder taking their time, just finding that short pass, not really speeding up the gameplay. Here, same thing, the center defensive mid is just coming, dropping in to receive, checks around him, finds a short pass, moves again out of space, moves back into space, and then quickly finds a pass forward to generate some sort of attack. In this next clip, you are gonna be able to see the same exact thing happen, but now, they play a long ball forward to generate an attack from a deep zone. Here you see a midfielder with space forward directly driving into that space and trying to create something out of that. And then in the next clip, you see the same thing. Space in front, can we find a pass forward? Can we generate an attack from that area? Defensive organization. Whenever you are out of possession and defending, your main objective is to cover the central zones. In this clip, you can see how that center defensive mid is covering that zone. He just got split with that pass, but he still stays central. You want to use that 18 yard box line as a reference, but always maintaining that central zone, making sure that no passes get penetrated through that area. 
whenever you're playing with another teammate you always want to have that diagonal support and here we see a similar clip the central midfielder stays in the central zone at all times once the ball is getting switched over or played backwards every single line pushes up but the majority of the time that center mid is staying in that central zone whenever a player does occupy that zone it's that defensive midfielder's job to step up and make sure that that player does not have time or space to turn just like right here whenever the ball gets switched over the midfielder also moves with the play notice how when the ball is switched over here the center midfielder is driving back to that pocket of space because their objective is always to cover the central areas